The folks at Stream Smart just released their new device called Stream Smart S4. So let's take it for a spin and see what's new. Device video review of StreamSmart S4. So what's new inside the S4? Well, StreamSmart have equipped their new box with an AM Logic S805 quad-core CPU, and to match it with the quad-core Mali 450 GPU, and to back it up, the power with a one gigabyte DR3 RAM, which I wish they were went with a two gigabyte RAM, but that's just wishful thinking. So you're probably thinking, wait a minute, this box looks like the older StreamSmart device from last year. Well, it is. The casing is basically the same with this its aluminum casing around the device. It makes it sharp and sleek looking with the silver shimmering color all over the S4. In the front, you'll find a black screen showcasing the light when it's on and the time clock, which is a great addition to the device in my own opinion, gives you that cable box TV box. Now, the corners are rounded and perfectly shaped to the box itself, and the StreamSmart logo is plastered everywhere on this box. But what else is new is on the corner on the right side, it has the logo of S4. Now, what you'll find on the left side of the box is two USB ports, and on the other side, you will find a micro SD port and another. 2.0 USB port. So that's a total of three USB ports to plug in any accessories like your mouse or keyboard or even a gaming controller. Now on the back, you'll get a Wi Fi antenna, which is 802.11, and an optical port for your uh, stereo system, and RCA outputs for older TVs, which is always a plus, and an HDMI port, Ethernet port, and the power port as well. Well, the remote of the StreamSmart S4 is like every other remote we've seen on many different devices. But we're not complaining at all because it works. And only thing different with this remote is the logo at the bottom and a few specified buttons that that's about it. All over the uh, overall the remote is a mid-range size that uses about 2 AAA batteries and easy to hold and do keep in mind that this remote does not have gyro air mouse remote capabilities or a keyboard as well so that's about it for the remote uh, it basically works now when you fire up the StreamSmart S4 device you will be greeted with a StreamSmart logo on boot and after a few seconds it takes you to straight to their home screen which nothing has changed on it as well but simplicity is key and like they said if it ain't broke don't try to fix it the home screen works and it gives you that windows 7 box feel but running android os now speaking of android let's go ahead and see what the version of android the stream smart s4 is running now as you can see it's running the 4.4.2 which is KitKat and it's fairly up to date so no biggie there. So let's check out what comes pre-installed out of the box. Some key apps you'll get is AirPlay, App Installer, Film on Live, Netflix, Miracast, OTA Update, Play Store, Quick Support, Sh Showbox, and Super SU and of course the bread and butter of this device is XBMC. Now let's go ahead and launch XBMC. Now once you launch XBMC you have this customized look to it from the Stream Smart developers. But first, let's see what version of XBMC they have installed on the S4. Now as you can see they have not upgraded to Kodi Helix 14 as of yet. But Gotham 13.2 XBMC is what it installed on this device which is the most stable XBMC to date in my opinion. From what you can see here is what the hardware is running on the Stream Smart S4 by XBMC. Now let's take an inside look at what comes pre-installed with their XBMC. The great thing about this is for newcomers on XBMC, you won't have to fiddle on installing anything other than the Stream Smart Wizard. After that, you're golden. You could start streaming right away, which is a great thing. Now there is about 70 plus add-ons installed on the S4, which are all streaming from videos to music and even programs. Some popular add-ons like One Channel, Cartoon HD, Genesis, Ice Films, and Ice Stream, and many more to mention. 
Now the music add-on you'll get is Pandora, Vivo TV, digitally imported, and a few radio add-ons as well. And in programs you have an add-on installer, NaviX, and StreamSmart Wizard, which is a very important add-on, so get familiar with it when there's an update. The great thing about StreamSmart TV, they have made the favorite section into one-stop shop for easy access to certain sections of add-ons, especially for sports enthusiasts. Rather than clicking to this add-on and then that section and you have the ability to straight to go to the section faster. So here's a list as I scroll down to what you can choose from from their favorites menu. Now the great thing about StreamSmart TV is it gives you full access to paid subscription based on add-ons like Dragon Streams, HQ Zone, Sports Access, and US TV Now from just one time purchase of the StreamSmart S4 device. Now let's run through what those paid add-ons look like now you got dragon streams which is made for um, stream smart tv device only so you won't be able to find it anywhere else so basically it's exclusive to this company you'll have access to sports streams and even watch replay of certain events from the dragon streams add-on now you also get access to hq zone which is the new and up and coming sports streams add-on on xbmc which they have schedules on certain days on which games you can view from what they are streaming daily now you can get access to sports access as well another streaming add-on which gives you mostly hd streaming of any sports events and can be requested via twitter on their sports access uh, account now and then they have a uh, on-demand section as well if you missed the fights previously now last but not least you have us tv now you get over about 25 plus live tv channels streaming and it's like cable tv again you got cable channels and news channels as well and all this saves you about eighty dollars of paid subscription that you don't have to pay all you have to do is purchase a stream smart tv and you have full access to these add-ons now let's see what the streaming capability of the S4 device handles. Now my test will only show online streaming only. Again, local files will always play the best because it's on your home network and if you have library of media files stored on your home network, then it'll work perfectly fine. But this showcase is going to show the online streaming. So what this add-on is showcasing is that the metadata which is the movie posters and fan art that are in the background as you can see it brings up the poster right away so no real problem there so let's go ahead and choose a trailer to view to test out the 1080p streaming on the s4 device now i'm gonna let this play for a little bit before i go ahead and do a test where i skip forward or rewind the stream now to test out the buffering as you can see it's running 1080p with aac audio which is perfectly fine now let's go ahead and test out the device I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward a few times and then to see if it struggles with buffering and then I'm gonna go rewind as well now as you can see it did have a little buffering but you didn't really couldn't tell but it did have a second late but that's perfectly fine to any uh, viewers out there so so far this s4 device has held up pretty good now my final verdict on the Stream Smart S4 device. Now I'm really glad that they went with a different main board which is the S805 AM Logic and that just bumps up the GPU as well. And then I really wish they had gone with a 2GB DDR3 RAM but that's just wishful thinking. Now the casing is the same which I applaud them because it just keeps it simple and it looks great. The box looks great on my entertainment center and then the clock is just a plus. Now the remote, well, it's all the same. I really wish they went with a different remote but that's just again wishful thinking. Now the optimization on this device is really clean and very well made and the XBMC which is fully customized with their pre-installed add-ons and then given the fact that they give you $80 worth of paid subscriptions that you don't have to pay once you purchase the device you have full access to it so you got sports access dragon streams HQ zone and US TV now now if you're someone that are looking to uh, use those subscriptions then stream smart TV is way to go